Hi! Uh, today I have for you a um, fall and Halloween uh, library book haul, plus I'm going to share some of our fall books um, that we own. Uh, so stay tuned! If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy you could join us. Um, and if you're not new, welcome back. Um, I'm so happy you're here watching as well. Um, my name is Tiffany. I have um, three kiddos who I homeschool. They are 13, 9, and 4. Sometimes I have to think about it a minute. Um, but like I said, um, today I'm going to share with you some fall and Halloween books that we just grabbed from the library. And I'm going to show you some of our fall books that we own um and i'm sure we have more but i just can't go around and grab through them all i don't know they're not all together <laughs> so uh yeah let's get to it first my daughter took one of the halloween books from the library so i'm waiting for her to bring that back um i'll start with our fall books that we own um some of them are fall but some of them are just um either take place in the fall or um have things to do with fall in them um, so we're lucky we live here. We live um, in the Northeast and it's very, it's beautiful here in the fall. It's my favorite season. The weather cools off, the leaves change colors. It's just amazing. I love it. Um, so we get to experience fall <laughs> and experience the weather change and, um, the changes that the trees go through and things like that. So the first one I'm going to share with you is called A Squirrel's Tale. Um, this is from Kane Miller Books. Um, you could get it. You used to be able to get it through Us Born Books and More. Um, I don't believe they don't sell it anymore. Um, but it's one of our favorite books. It's a little squirrel and he has lost, he has hidden his nuts and he's lost them. Um, and it actually has this little cute little squirrel guy. And like you put him through the slots of the book and then you have him follow along um, the lines. It's, so it's great for teaching um, little children to read from that we read from left to right and you can have them follow the lines and it goes through the whole book and eventually he finds his nuts. Um, so yeah like I said I don't think you can get this from you can't get this from Osborne Books anymore but um, I'm sure you could probably find it online used maybe or something I don't know but I definitely recommend it if you can find it. <laughs> um, we love it. Um, this is just a cute little fall book called Leaves. It's a little board book. Um, I think we had read this um, in paperback from the library like a couple years ago. But um, my um, grandma, not my grandma, the children's grandma, bought um, this for my son. So um, just recently, actually. So it'll be good to have this one. I think it's adorable. The illustrations are so cute. This one has nothing to do with fall except that it takes place in the fall and I think the illustrations and the colors are just gorgeous. Again this is a King Miller book um, that you can get through Osborne Books More. Um, I don't know if they still sell this one. I bought this quite a few years ago. Um, I'm not sure if you could if it's still available. Um, but again I mean if you could get it um, yeah maybe you could find it online somewhere. But I highly recommend it if you can or if you see it used somewhere, definitely get it. It is a wonderful, wonderful story. Um, so it just says on the back, it says a funny and charming tale about seeing both sides of the story. So it has, so it has these two characters. And in the book, it's basically two books. And you see the story from her perspective. And then you see the story from this little creature's perspective. And it's a great lesson for kids. Um, another one, this is called um, Tap the Magic Tree. Uh, there. I took, I don't remember, I, I don't remember if it had the dust jacket or if I just took it off. I don't know. I think I took it off because um, my son kept messing with it and I didn't want him to rip it. So um, this is um, by uh, Christy Matheson, which we have quite a few of her books now. Um, I love them and they're kind of interactive. Like this is there's magic in this bare brown tree. Tap it once, turn the page to see. So the children can tap it. And then like a little leaf pops out. So it goes through the whole cycle of the tree and it does go into, um, let me get to that. 
apple it's an apple tree so apples grow on the tree and you have to shake it and then the apples all fall down um and then all the leaves change colors so it's a great book to read any time of year um and then you can talk about what's happening in the season that you're in okay um another one that we have is how do apples grow we love this series um the let's read and find out from um we get them from the library we actually own a few now too um this one and a couple others but we really really enjoy them i always pick them up used when i can find them um so yeah so we're gonna be talking um and learning about apples we plan to go apple picking but i don't know if it's gonna happen um <laughs> we'll see um okay so i'm gonna show you now the fall books that we got from the library so we got apple life cycles so this is um it just talks you all about an apple's life starts out with the flowers talks about astronaut john glenn taking applesauce um, on his first space flight. <laughs> um, yeah, so just lots of different um, stuff up facts about apples. This one is called One Red Apple. I thought it was really cute. It starts out with one red apple. And it just talks about like, you know, buying an apple from a stand, enjoying a country red apple about it says watch tiny apple seeds scatter in the wind which i don't think i've ever seen apple seeds blowing in the wind but <laughs> maybe um it says see small sprouts peek out from the earth so it's just cute it's just about you know an apple and then it talks about the apple tree growing and blooming so it kind of takes you through the cycle of an apple tree but just cute really cute illustrations now, this is not about fall, but it is about apples. It's called Apples to Oregon. This is being the slightly true narrative of how brave pioneer father brought apples, peaches, pears, plums, grapes, and cherries, and children across the plains. So we've read this quite a few times. Um, it says, although Apples to Oregon is mostly a tall tale, the first apple trees really did come to Oregon in a wagon. In 1847, a pioneer named Henderson... Welling left Salem, Iowa with his wife, Elizabeth, and eight children and a wagon carrying 700 plants and young fruit trees. So this is just like a fun made up story, kind of a tall tale about him and his family. And it's really cute. And my kids have always loved it. And so it's kind of like every fall we kind of get this um, when we talk about apples. It's just a fun little story. We've got season, 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 seasons. <laughs> uh, this is about fall. Um, and this talks about fall weather, um, like different change and signs of things to look for when fall is coming. Um, fall garden, like so different changes you can see in the plants and stuff outside when it's fall. Um, it talks about animals in the fall, like what are the animals doing? Uh, fall journey, so it talks about migration. And then there's also some like fall stories from around the world. So it has all kinds of different stuff in here. It's really cute. We got, um, and then it even gives some ideas for art in the back. We've got from pump from seed to pumpkin. I wanted to get the um they have um like this one. They have one about pumpkins, but I couldn't find it um at the library. So uh we got this one. So basically it's the life cycle of a pumpkin, but in a story, like picture book kind of style. So and we've got autumn leaves. Um, and this shows basically the different leaves from different trees and what they look like. So this is a great thing to take on a hike with you or to pick some flower, some flowers, 
some leaves while you're on a hike and then come back and like see if you can figure out which ones they are. Um, so yeah, so we'll definitely be using this. Um, usually we end up going on a fall hike and pick some they like to collect the leaves and stuff. So like I said, here we just have mostly maple trees. We have a couple other trees in other yards, but our yard only has maple trees. So <laughs> and it has a bunch. It's a whole line. The whole side of our yard is maple trees. So lots of leaves to rake up and lots of leaf, um, seeds everywhere and stuff. But um, this book is not um, fall, but it does have some fall elements. It And it was just beautiful. I went to go grab one of the other books from the library and this was near it. So it says Into the Forest, um, Wander Through Our our Woodland World. And it has, um, it does talk about like, um, the changes in the trees throughout the seasons. So, and I think it even talks about some of the animals and like what they do in the fall, different, different seasons. So, um, but it also talks about different forests, like there's tropical rainforests and stuff like that in there. So it's not just like deciduous forests. Um, so it had a lot of different things, but it did have some, did have some fall elements. So I did grab it and it's just beautiful. Look at it. <laughs> Okay, so now let's, um, I'll show you the Halloween books that we picked up. Um, this is one of my children's favorite books. Um, it is Tell Me a Scary Story, but not too scary. Um, we love this book. And it, it, it is like a spooky story, um, but it's really fun. Um, so if your kids are into spooky stories and don't get scared easily, I definitely recommend it. Um, we love it. We've read it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> um, I grabbed this one. I don't know. I don't even think it's like actually Halloween, but it's, a, you know, kind of spooky. Um, it's called Wolf Boy. I just saw the cover and thought my kids would like it. Um, it says, what's a hungry, huffy, growly wolf boy to do? So I have no idea what it's about, but it looked really cute. But it looks like the like the illustrations are like, oh, let me see if I have a good one. It looks like they're like clay or something. I don't know if you could tell there, but it looks like, um, I feel like they're clay. And that looks, and it's really cool. So you can kind of tell in the sky. I don't know if you could see that on the camera, but I think it looks really cool. We've got Haunted Party. That just looks like a cute little um, Halloween party story. Um, and it's uh, counting because it says one ghost, um, two skeletons, three goblins. So that should be a fun one to read. Um, Scarecrow Magic which looks really cute. Um, let's see. I really like the illustrations. It's really cute. This funny little scarecrow skeleton running. And if you could see, I'll flip this over if you look at the front and back cover. I like that when they're like a picture <laughs> that goes from the front to the back cover. Um, so it's just about a scarecrow skeleton, you know, playing while he, yeah, just playing while it's nighttime. And then by morning, he's back on his post. That's so cute. Fun little story. The last one is this Frankenstein, a monstrous parody. So this um, is a parody of um, Madeline. And it's really cute. Um, so let's see if it has says in a creepy old castle all covered with spines live 12 ugly monsters in two crooked lines so it's like really fun um yeah so that's it like i said we own a few halloween books probably like five or six um but i didn't take those out <laughs> um we also own a couple other fall books that i just don't know where they are and feel like looking for them um so yeah, that was our, you know, fall Halloween book haul. Um, so these will all be, you know, put out where the 
on our library shelf and be pulled out for like bedtime or just story time during the day. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to put together a video also of like just fun stuff that we do during the fall. Um, any activities or crafts that I plan to do, I will um, do a video about those too. Like I said, this is my favorite time of year. I love the weather. We love to get outside and this is why we start school in July so that when this time of year comes we can be outside and not feel guilty about not being inside doing school um so like today this afternoon we're actually off this week but um even if we weren't off we would be doing the same thing so this afternoon we're going to be right after lunch we're headed out to a park and we're probably going to be there all day <laughs> the rest of the day so um yeah so that's the beauty of homeschooling too is that we can get out and spend the day at the park if we want and totally can be a learning experience as well and uh, you've got to do that socializing too so <laughs> how important that is so anyway um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did um hit that subscribe button i have lots of book videos um hopefully some good stuff coming up for this season um going into the holidays i may do a um, video about what we got the kids for Christmas. Um, I have to make sure they stay off of YouTube, uh, off my channel. Um, they do sometimes watch the videos, so I have to make sure I warn them um, if they want surprises to not come on to watch to watch my videos. Because um, I know that's helpful for me. Sometimes I'll watch, um, you know, what I got my kids for Christmas videos to kind of, because sometimes you don't think of things and you see something like, oh my god, my kid would love that. So yeah, definitely keep an eye out. Um, definitely subscribe. Um, give me a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any suggestions of like amazing fall or Halloween books. Um, I'm not opposed to picking up more. Um, I actually have one on hold called the Scarecrow's Dance that looks amazing. Um, and I can't wait for that one. And I'm really close to buying it, um, on Book Outlet because I saw that they have it. Um, but also, yeah, if you, um, we get a lot of books from Book Outlet. I will put a link down below for Book Outlet. Um, actually, I'm putting in an order soon. Um, and if you've never ordered from them, if you use my link, um, you'll get $10 off your first order. And it'll also give me $10 off my next order. So that would be awesome and help us both out and <laughs> save some money and save money on books. Book Outlet is amazing. Um, and I can also put some links. Um, I'll put one up here and also put some down in the description box of um, my book outlet hauls because I love book outlet and I keep a running list a running cart just always every day I go on there and add new books um so yeah um thank you so much for watching that was really babbly but whatever um that's me so um I hope you enjoyed this um and I hope you have a great day bye